Hi, I'm Dhruv. And I'm Yoli. And we love traveling. In this brand new series for DW Travel, we'll be exploring Germany's most famous sites. So right now we are walking by the Neckar River and over there behind me you see the old bridge of Heidelberg and that's where we are walking towards. So that's the famous iconic Alte Brücke, the old bridge of Heidelberg. In fact you can even see the castle from there. And this picture of the bridge and the castle is the picture you will see everywhere on Google if you search for Heidelberg. It looks very crowded over there. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone wants to see the... Famous monkey. <laughs> Legends say that if you touch the fingers of the monkey, you will come back to Heidelberg again. Oh, so that means you will come back. And if you touch the mirror, you will be wealthy in your life. <laughs> <laughs> if you touch the mice, then you will have a lot of children. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> so awkward. Yeah. But honestly, who would not want to return to Heidelberg? Look at this. It's very picturesque. So the tower is 2 euros. So this is the way up to the Heiliges Kirche, the holy church here. And the lady down there said it's very narrow up here. But apparently there is a very good view from the top of the whole city. It looks like you're covered in some really nice lights. What is it called? Just a window. Oh no, I thought it had a special name. Looks like a prison cell. Wow! Welcome to Heidelberg. That's a really nice view. And you see the castle from here. Here also you can see the Altstadt, the old city, all the old houses and behind are the new houses and Heidelberg has one of the longest shopping streets in Europe. In fact, the longest pedestrian zone where no cars are allowed. I think it comes all the way from there till here till here and goes across to the other side. Here we see another grand church, Jesuiten Kirche. That's the name of this church, right? Yeah. Yeah. So where should we go next? We can go up the castle or we can go on the main shopping street here. So next to the church, we have a lot of shops all almost sticking to the church all around it. And this is the main marketplace. It's very crowded as you can see. And this place is called the Kornmarkt. From here you get a really good view of the castle. So this here is the small train which takes us to the top of the mountain and to the Schloss since 1890 it was made in. But there's a long line to get in here. So we are at Kornmarkt and we can take this train up to the castle till here or we can keep going up 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 to the Königstuhl, the top of the mountain. It costs 
only 7 euros for a return ticket. So if we go all the way up to Königs too, this is what the view will be like. But we don't have the time to go all the way up. There's a 30 minute waiting time, so we'll only go up to the castle. Okay, let's go. even take like two minutes <laughs> and these are the Schloss Garten no what I meant castle gardens <laughs> I confused between German and English look how deep that is at least 10 floors or 11 floors even no. yeah easily look Look at the height of a person and it's just endless. And this is the church that we went to earlier. We were walking up. Right there, yeah. Right on top of that, right around we were walking. <laughs> it's called the Heiliggeistkirche. Previously I said Heiliggeistkirche. <laughs> yeah, which is very wrong. <laughs> Holy Spirit Church. Wait, pose again. Yeah, and this is a nice Instagram photo shot, photo spot, photo shoot spot. This actually looks like a proper, proper castle. Yeah, these cool ruins, right? Yeah, it's not only that, but it's this very deep space between the actual castle and here, so the enemies cannot get there. You know, the crocodile pool, which we had in Rotenburg. <laughs> this is definitely my favorite tourist spot in Heidelberg. And you can see the reason why. Now those windows are crazy. Because they're empty, there's nothing. You see the blue sky behind them. Yeah, very cool. This is the biggest wine barrel in the world. Oops, it wasn't this one actually because <laughs> it's this one. And just to estimate the size of it, you hold the camera, I'll go near it. Wrong side. You can see how big it actually looks. Very big. Oh my god. It's all Although the ticket to get up to the castle is not expensive, it's only 2 euros. But if you don't want to buy that ticket, you can also take this stairway and it will only take you 10 minutes to get up. We are taking it to go down because the train was very full. Okay, so we are back at the church. We are thinking of going all along the main street. By the way, you might have noticed how many young people are here in Heidelberg, especially compared to Rotenburg where we went earlier. It's because 25% of the population of Heidelberg is actually students. Students from all over the world come here to study in universities. We just discovered that there's the Rotenburger speciality. Yeah. The one that we saw in Rotenburg, but we decided not to try it because we were a bit hesitant if we would like it or not. Schneeballen means snowball, and there's so many flavors of it. Yeah, look how big they are. One is like literally this big, <laughs> bigger than a cricket ball. Right now we are walking on the longest pedestrian street in Europe and it's really really long where no cars are allowed. Look in the front. So in this map you can see the whole pedestrian area of Heidelberg. We started walking from Marktplatz and this Alte Brücke and we are now here. It's still not the end of the road and this whole area is pedestrian zone. 
It's a really, really long road. And this was the castle we went up to. Yeah. These stairs we took. Chuk, 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 chuk. Okay. <laughs> so here we are at Bismarck Platz. That's the end of the long street here. Heidelberg is a beautiful city full of international students. Yeah. Visiting the castle is, is the must do because it's very beautiful and one of the highlights. But apart from that, you can Just enjoy, stroll around, stroll around, around enjoy, a, enjoy the Altstadt.